So isn't it great when some things go right and you feel like there's an occasional thing of good news? Um, you might remember that just recently I posted a video about um, in inviting Jordan Chariton to watch the video, Jordan Chariton from Status Quo, uh, which is a left independent news outlet and a very good one. As I mentioned in this, the video I did, which was addressed to him, which I, I invite you to check out, I said to Jordan um, a number of things about veganism. And, uh, and it's always a risk, you know, when you, uh, particularly if you actually address it to someone, they might feel a little bit confronted if they're not vegan. Um, but, you know, I try and do it in a way which is sort of presenting facts, but also appealing to uh, a position that people already have in themselves about non-human animals, which is that we already think animals morally matter because we, um, just by the way we uh, are affected when we hear an animal is being harmed or when when we have um, animals living with us, um, how we think of them as family members and all that kind of thing. We already, we already have the uh, seeds of veganism in us, which simply means that we care, we, that animals morally matter to us, that they, we, we, we can see their sentience and we know that they um, have self-awareness and all of that. So, uh, you know, because of that, it's, it's, I, I find it's very easy to appeal to people, as long as they think animals morally matter, and most people do, then it's easy to appeal to people uh, when you're talking about the issue. You can address it from um, a personal standpoint, even just for the non-human animals that share um, our lives with us. And of course, you know, the, the, the thing is, if we could live our life without harming anyone, why wouldn't we? Really, particularly when, uh, in, in the case of veganism, we, we don't need any of these products, animal products at all, to survive. There's millions of vegans on the planet now and they're doing fine. You know, if you eat a, a balanced diet, just like anybody, if you eat a balanced diet, uh, you'll be fine. And, and uh, it's a very, very nutritious, wonderful thing uh, to, and very, very uh, yummy as well, you know, a plant-based diet. And of course, it's more than just a uh, diet. Uh, it's, it's an ethical position, but it's more than just rejecting animal products like, you know, dairy, eggs, uh, meat, uh, fish, etc. It's rejecting leather, wool and all those different products of violence. So to get to the point of this is um, I wrote Jordan yesterday. I actually went on his live stream this morning and I uh, gave another super chat and I, I suggested could he please, once again, could he please check out this video because I wanted to basically, sorry I had to change around there, um, I wanted to be, for him to basically check check it out while I'd actually brought up the issue and while somebody else had brought up the issue issue of animal agriculture and and uh, veganism etc so I, I sort of wanted to follow that up and um, to my surprise I was actually feeling so I did this super chat again this morning bringing attention to it and also risking looking like a grifter because you know um, I didn't want anybody to think I'm using his channel to to get more people to subscribe to me uh, and and so I had to risk because it, it, basically he's they're not able to answer all their emails because um, one of them is sick you know Jen, Jen Dyes has got COVID at the moment so um, I wasn't sure if any of my emails were going to get addressed I guess I'm a little impatient sometimes when it comes to this so I so this super chat was a bit of a risk today um, because I you know it I don't want people to think I'm grifting and as you know I, I don't make any money from this oh except for the the minuscule monetization that I get the occasional cent here and there I think I've got 45 cents now so I'll go out and have a party on that but, but anyway um, you, you understand what I'm saying so um, so anyway he wrote to me uh, today and and said uh, he, he was he he thought the video was he put it in, I put this in quote kick ass and uh, so he wanted to invite me on to to talk about veganism uh, which is great because uh, it's also a little a little scary because it's such an important issue to me and it hopefully it, it, it will become an important issue for a lot of people uh oh the weather is um, starting to get windy so I hope you can hear me okay um, it, it's an important issue to me and I feel this responsibility to present it in a way that is going to resonate and I don't want people to take away anything that is less than clear that is less than morally consistent meaning I don't want them to be thinking that it's about uh, nutrition or that it's only about the environment or anything I want people to, st to really start thinking about sentient animals and what we're doing I want to try and break through that speciesist um, haze that we all have where we, we're just we've just taken for granted that animals are here for us to look at that they're here for us to to use you know some are here for us to use some of us are here to be companions some of us are here to experiment on some of us are here you know that sort of thing I I want to break through that species this thing and that is very tricky because when you've been indoctrinated so heavily as everybody has on this planet um, right from birth 
that animals are here for us to use it's it, it takes some doing and some people it immediately happens to them they immediately get, the, the light comes on and other people it takes maybe they might have to hear something 30 times um, I was fortunate and I just heard I finally I, I, I just read something on the internet that was about dairy and I was appalled I, I was absolutely appalled I could not believe that um, we were actually that this was going on and it was seen as acceptable but I mean you know why did it take me so long to even start to think we're actually using other sentient beings for purposes we're using their bodies and their young and, and their secretions and all that why didn't that click to me before then because it's happening all around us all the time and it's not, and bloodless animal products on the shelves and everything so th this is you know and it so this is why it's um it's something that's that's tricky some people pick things up straight away and other people don't uh, it takes them a long time the important thing is that better late than never never the important thing is that it happens at some point um, and uh, so anyway it was very uh, made me very happy and also it was just you know how sometimes it just feels like there's never any good news and that it's like pushing you know SHIT up uphill with a sieve almost you know that Sisyphus sort of thing sometimes it feels like that and uh, it can be very um, it can be a bit depressing I'm sure that you would agree you know the the news good news is very 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 thin on the ground and also pushing through different if issues and uh, you know like the, the the you know there's different issues that it's really hard to make any headway with and even though there's a lot more people on the planet that are vegan now a lot more um, than when I became vegan in 2005 um, I just every day I'm just aware that you know there's there's more and more like today there's there's at least a hundred million plus animals have, have been killed tortured and killed today in, in four days there's more animals tortured and there's more animals killed than all the humans that have been killed in the wars and murders genocides uh, plagues etc in all of human history and and for, for what for for absolutely trivial reasons of mostly palate pleasure and then I think about how it would be so easy for science to and and there are alternatives to uh, torturing animals for experiments you know I think about you know there are our alternatives and there could be if we actually spent more time doing th good things for humanity instead of uh, finding new ways to kill ourselves and kill uh, through weapons of mass destruction and etc if we actually spent that that those incredible military bills that the United States keeps bringing in without and uh, without any uh, peep from anybody and we use that on, on alternatives to um, these awful awful animal experiments and genetically modifying animals so that you can you know experiment on them and all that kind of stuff we would have we would have it right now we would never have to probably use another animal uh, at all it's not a necessary evil in quotes what we're doing to animals and experiments and I think I think that it's it's just evil <laughs> you know and, and and it's unnecessary if we spent these hundreds and hundreds and of billions of dollars on on us on really important things good things and and uh, changed our way of living instead of uh, this ecocide that's coming you know we and we use money you know if we didn't have capitalism basically things would be in a lot better shape but if we did use the money that is in capitalism now for good instead of all this insanity we would have a, just a complete di completely different planet you know all this covid testing i mean behind those vaccines there are you know a gazillions of animals that have been tortured just like every year there's at least 100 million animals tortured and that's not counting the, the the mice and the rats and everything they don't even count those animals in the statistics so you can imagine you know it's it, it's 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 too awful to think about so these are the things I think about every day when I think we're li not living in a vegan world if we were living in a vegan world people would insist on finding alternatives to torturing and killing animals like that for animal experiments and everything and it would be so easy and there's already animal alternatives uh, to existing right now but why should people bother using it why should science bother scientists bother using it because we see animals as property so why why not use animals there's no big there's no problem with that right in a non-vegan world uh, we we have legally decided animals are not sentient they're property they're things so why would scientists bother to find alternatives or find more alternatives well why would they 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 don't so uh, you know these these are all things that I think about I try not to dwell on it because it's so it's so awful for me when I feel like I'm just sort of um, 
bringing out a vegan video after vegan video and I'm not make I, it feels like I'm not making any headway even though I, I feel like even just an nth of the information should should propel people to to really seriously consider becoming vegan and when I sort of feel like um, people who otherwise int very intelligent people on the left are just kind of like putting it off or making excuses to themselves or just sort of like thinking oh that's a good idea but I don't feel like doing it or that's a good idea but um, what about bacon you know um, when you know little pigs are just like dogs really I mean if, if you if you if we we fetishize dogs and yet little pigs are exactly the same so why are we kind of uh, wanting to pat one animal and, and, and love that animal and consider it a family member but we are wanting to torture and kill little pigs and eat them you know what I mean it's sort of like I mean in some countries dogs are seen as as food how would we feel if somebody took our dog you know the dog whom we live with and did all those awful things to them and ended up eating them we'd be horrified wouldn't we well why though do we think it's okay what we're doing to pigs well pigs we don't have a relationship with them a personal relationship with them and we put them in a category of food but it's an arbitrary category and it's ridiculous they're sentient they're self-aware they have likes and dislikes they love their young so anyway all these things um, all these things sometimes it gets I get I think God all the suffering and the killing and for what you know I, I feel the same way about you know all these imperialist endless wars all the suffering and the killing and for what you know it's like the, it's even more trivial really this the use of animals it's even way more trivial and there's a lot of money behind it too but there was a lot of money behind human slavery and there was a town whole towns geared up a around human slavery but that changed there was a time where people thought it was impossible to not have human slaves that that how they the, it was impossible to think of and of course slavery still exists today but it, people are, in law are not considered property but animals in law are considered property so anyway uh, so it's good news and uh, I always uh, like I, I, I like to uh, sort of um, rejoice in some good news because there's so little it seems like there's so little of it today and I really appreciate Jor Jordan Chariton from Status Quo um, offering me the opportunity to talk uh, to be interviewed on one of his um, um, on one of his shows coming up I don't know when that will be hopefully it will happen but even just the fact that even even if it did not happen just the fact that um, somebody has the open-mindedness to to go forward with something like that it makes it it it's very heartening because sometimes as I said it feels like um, pushing SHIT uphill and it's such an important issue it's such an important issue in relation to nonviolence and, and peace and also the climate crisis and and the oceans all of that there's so much riding on us being vegan it is so 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 important and it's only really just sort of breaking through um, mainstream in the last few years and it really needs to people really need to start seeing it as a moral imperative as it always has been but they really need to really really put aside all these sort of sad and sorry excuses and and really embrace it